travel with you. It is that you dream too much. The travel with you. It is that you dream.
After testing metals, this is the section on the mechanism of failure. A study of the mechanism, mechanical testing of metals shows that their behavior is not always apparently consistent, and a number of questions come to mind concerning the mechanism of failure. For example, what leads to the difference in behavior of metals when stressed, A, within the elastic limits, and B, above it? Does the fracture of metal occur by separation along the grain boundaries, or are the grains torn in half? Dealing with these questions, much help has been given by studying metals under the microscope during and after stressing and by x-ray examination of the minute distortion of their atomic structure. If a polished and etched metal such as aluminum or copper is examined under the microscope, while being stressed at room temperature, a widespread change appears when the elastic limit is passed. The surface of the metal can be seen to have roughened, and each grain is marked with a number of parallel lines, the direction of which vary from grain to grain, figures 37b. In some of the grains, two or three series of parallel lines may have developed. These lines, which are actually steps produced in the surface, are called slip bands and are an outward sign of permanent deformation on the metal grains. The mechanism of the formation of the slip bands can be appreciated in figure 38. Imagine part of a grain of metal to be stressed and indicated by the arrows in the upper drawings. At first, the grain can distort elastically, and if the stress is removed, it will revert to its original form, as in the lower drawings on the left. But above a certain stress, a part of the grain slips like a pile of coins being pushed over slightly. And when this occurs, part of the deformation is permanent and shows in the bottom right-hand drawing. The places at which this slip occurs could be observed under the microscopes in the form of slip bands, as shown on figures 37b and plate 24c. As metal is stressed, the number and the intensity of slip bands increase until, with sufficient distortion, the structure is so confused that the original boundaries of the grains almost lose their identity. When this state of affairs is reached, the metal commences to distort in another manner by general plastic movement. The research that has been done on discontinuities previously discussed on page 5 has thrown a great deal of light on the reasons why metals are so strong and how and why they failed under increased stress. It is probable that the inspiration of metals being strengthened by minute fibers and other materials was derived from the general spread of knowledge of the researches on discontinuities and the realization that such added fibers can produce increased strength.
The reservoir from up above, black and white, it's a thing of beauty. Topographic, the lines go out with cartographic. There's the on round, there's the con on, reconstruction, $50. Lines go out with topographic, cartographic, it's a thing of beauty. There's a city, the thing of beauty. There's a city, the thing of beauty. Did you find it? The thing of beauty. Signs are haunting, things of beauty. Calcifying, signs of beauty. Calcifying, signs of beauty. Calcifying, signs of beauty. Calcifying, signs of beauty. Concrete, a early. Education, did you find it? The lines are haunting, did you find it? The thing is today, don't want to worry, don't want to worry, don't want to worry. There's a city, the thing is beauty, there's a city, the thing is beauty, did you find it? The thing is beauty. Lines are haunting, things of beauty, calcifying, signs of beauty, calcifying, signs of beauty, calcifying, signs of beauty, calcifying, signs of beauty. And it's 
Consider these, these minerals ground down into the subduction zone. Consider these minerals ground down into the subduction zone. Cut the fingers to the quick. Cut the fingers to the bone. Consider these minerals ground down into the subduction zone. They toil not, neither do they spin. Make me well again. Make me well again. Make me well again. Make me well again. 